do not believe the materialist view. Do not believe that you're, uh, like I was saying before, a complex biophysical machine. Well, it, it was seen like that before. That it, it's true that for uh, not several centuries, since uh, I think the birth of modern science during the 16th century, materialism has been the uh, the dominant framework or paradigm, if you will. Uh, and for for you know a long period of time, scientists believe that they have to be committed to a materialist uh, perspective with regard not only to uh, metaphysics, but also to the, the methods of science, methodology. Uh, but this, this is not true, because now there are several phenomena, like I was saying before, like, for instance, psi phenomena, or near-death experience in cardiac arrest, and so on and so forth. These phenomena directly challenge this old materialist uh, worldview, and they show that it's now time to move on to a a new, uh, more uh, expanded framework uh, that uh, we have called uh, post-materialist. Yeah. To the scientists, I would say, um, expand your uh, horizons, enlarge your concept of the natural world, so that you'll be able to include many phenomena that actually uh, are considered to be anomalies in the old materialist framework. That's the first thing. If we do that, then we'll may be able to make science progress uh, tremendously and rapidly. To the general public, uh, I would say that uh, do not believe the materialist view. Do not believe that you're, uh, like I was saying before, a complex biophysical machine, but totally determined by electrical and chemical processes in the brain or by your genes because on the contrary mind consciousness and spirit are very very powerful and can transform or deeply affect your body and also your entire life That's all. <laughs> thanks